the highly anticipated uh, affidavit has been unsealed by the Department of Justice. Uh, now, of course, this is uh, partly redacted. Nonetheless, it is the affidavit that was used to obtain the search warrant for Trump's home in Florida, Mar-a-Lago. So now, uh, and of course, we find some of the justification for that warrant and the subsequent search of Trump's home. Uh, now, let me get into one of the justifications. Uh, and that, of course, is the significant amount of classified information that they had previously obtained from Mar-a-Lago. This was pre-search. So they got these documents and, and, and they took a look at them and they found a lot of stuff that Trump had taken from the White House when he left and then, you know, shoved it in a closet in Mar-a-Lago. So, all right. Now, as I said, of the uh, 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 classified information that they had found, a preliminary review of the 15 boxes of materials obtained from Mar-a-Lago indicated that they had contained newspapers, magazines, printed news articles, photos, miscellaneous printouts, notes, presidential correspondence, personal and post-presidential records, and is again, a lot of classified records. These are highly classified records. I'll give you the breakdown on that. Um, but basically, they may have contained human source intelligence, intercepts under the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, or FISA, and signals intelligence, as well as, as, well as other tags, including high sensitivity. And they were found unfolded and intermixed with other records and otherwise improperly identified. Hmm. Mm. Okay. So now some of, uh, of those documents, by the way, contained Trump's handwritten notes. So I, I don't know if he wrote those notes when he was president or when he was not president. <laughs> and so I, I, I think that matters. Uh, now in those documents, agents found about 184 unique documents. I, sorry, I, sh I should say in those boxes, 25 of which were marked top secret, 92 marked secret, 67 were marked confidential, which is the lowest level of a national security classification. So now that was the first group of documents that Mar-a-Lago had actually handed over, uh, Trump had. And so they went and they, you know, the FBI looked through this and they're like, wow, that's a lot of classified material that you took from the White House when you left. Hmm. I wonder if he has more. I mean, there's 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 a possibility that there might be more documents that they did not return them all. They had suspicions. OK, uh, and look again, the FBI also was concerned that these documents were being mishandled, which, again, we find out that's obviously the truth uh, from the terrible condition they got they, that they got sent back in. Of course. But hey, at least, to be fair, at least they got whole pages of documents and not, you know, shredded documents that had been flushed down the toilet. You know. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times. They're, they're flushing toilets because, you know, or I should say Trump's flushing toilets because of the documents. But luckily, these documents were not shredded or flushed but we're just massively out of order in different folders, intermixed with all sorts of stuff. Obviously, absolutely mishandled. Okay, so now, that said, the DOJ wrote in a letter to Trump's attorney, Evan Corcoran, uh, and, and again, this was, I believe, around June. Uh, no, I'm sorry, May. As I previously indicated to you, Mar-a-Lago does not include a secure location authorized for the storage of classified information. DOJ wrote in a letter, as such, it appears that since the time classified documents redacted were removed from secure facilities at the White House and moved to Mar-a-Lago on or around January 20th, 2021, they have not been handled in an appropriate manner or stored in an appropriate location. Hmm. Uh, and look, again, there's the existence of video 
that would show people going in and out of the different rooms that they had stored these documents in these top secret and some cases classified documents national security documents randos were going in and out of the rooms staff members a again that of course that's not secure they didn't even have a, pa have a padlock on the door and by the way uh, Trump's assertion that, oh, they, they asked us to put a padlock on the door, and we, we totally did. Uh, we made it very, very secure, the most secure. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, the DOJ was like, this is not a secure uh, facility. You need to send these documents back now. In fact, the affidavit asserts that uh, the documents were kept in more than just a storage room at Mar-a-Lago. The FBI also believed the material was housed in Trump's residential suite. Uh, in a location listed as Pine Hall and in the 45 office. Oh, my God. Are you serious? The 45 office. Now you named that at Marla. Oh, I've got the 45 office now. You're not president anymore. You're again. OK, now here's the thing. They get these documents at first. OK, they go through them. They found out they're just uh, massively disorganized. And then they. What, what makes them believe that Trump had more documents other than just, OK, look, we know the guy has uh, not really been very forthcoming with documents. No, it actually took people who uh, had, you know, uh, I don't know if they worked at Mar-a-Lago. I don't know who they are, but there are sources inside of Mar-a-Lago, several, actually. And, and this is where uh, a lot of the redaction comes into place. OK. Uh, to protect those sources and their identities, as well as the agents involved. Uh, but they tipped off the authorities and they said, look, uh, yeah, we we see these documents that are just, you know, massively improperly handled. They're everywhere. They're not secure. You got to do something about it because he's slow walking the return. Now, there's a lot more, again, in this document without getting into obstruction of justice. But just, again, having these documents laying around, unsecured, you know, having randos be able to walk in and out of the rooms containing this top secret agent, or, I'm sorry, information is, is just disastrous. And it's also, yes, highly illegal. Under 18 U.S.C. 793, whoever having unauthorized possession of access uh, to or control over any document or information related to the national defense, which they had, uh, which uh, information the possessor has reason to believe they could be used to the injury of the United States or to the advantage of any foreign nation, willfully communicates, delivers, transmits, or causes to be communicated, delivered, or transmitted, or attempts to do so, to cause uh, the same to any person not entitled to receive it, or willfully retains the same and fails to deliver it, to the officer or employee of the United States entitled to receive it shall be fined or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. So that last part, again, the DOJ was telling Trump months ago, you are not storing this in a secure facility. Mar-a-Lago is not secure. You need to give this back. And for months, he says, no, no, I'm not going to give it back. Uh, my lawyers, they say, we're not going to give it back. Uh, so these are not your documents. These are mine. They're my documents. Again, they said, you didn't secure it. You shouldn't have them. Send them back. Now, I mentioned uh, Trump's lawyer, Evan Corcoran, right? So now, in response to the DOJ, he said, you know what, uh, Trump, he has absolute authority to declassify these documents. Kash Patel also mentioned uh, in the affidavit, who claimed that Trump had declassified them with the action implicitly of just by taking them out of the White House. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. There is a process to go through. Yes, the president can declassify documentation. That's one of the powers he has, but it doesn't mean he, that he doesn't have to go through a process. A post on Truth Social does not mean classification or declassification, okay? Uh, you know, uh, take the physical act of taking them out of the White House does not mean that you have declassified these documents. That's not the process. But again, 
Trump ignores the process. They always ignore the process because they think they're above the law. And they think that we're just going to let them do it. Now, also, Corcoran uh, argued that, uh, hey, look, um, he has the absolute authority to declassify the document, but he also didn't explicitly say that Trump had uh, actually declassified the document. So he didn't even mention that uh, and also did not address. Uh, oh, by the way, before I get to that, that law that I'm, uh, you know, uh, mentioned to you, uh, 18 U.S.C. 793, he said, well, look, yes, there is that law, but uh, it doesn't uh, apply to presidents. Oh, really? Well, OK, but. Trump took those documents when he was no longer president. So how does that, uh, d does the same immunity from prosecution apply to a non-president, someone who is now a civilian, as Trump was at the time that he took the documents and then refused to turn them over? Uh, certainly a former president doesn't retain declassification power. No, he gives up those powers when he leaves office. And so Corcoran, in his letter to the DOJ, didn't even mention that at all. At all. And so what's funny is that um, prosecutors, when they sought the search warrant for Mar-a-Lago, they included that letter. So like here, here, this is what Donald Trump's dumb lawyer is, uh, is, is, is saying, okay? Now, that submission to Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt uh, however, as uh, the affidavit notes, they did not cite the criminal statute Coker and reference as a basis for the search. So, no, they actually went even worse. They, they went hard. Prosecutors pointed to possible violations of the broader ranging and more severe Espionage Act, as well as other criminal statutes covering the theft of government records and even possible uh, obstruction of justice. That's the stuff that we didn't get to see. That's the stuff that looks like it's being it's been redacted. Now, what's even more interesting, too. Again, this is this is more than just improperly storing the documents. That's the very least. Right. No, uh, Trump's lawyer also stated in that same letter that no legal objection was asserted about the transfer indicating that they knew that tr uh, legally Trump could not hold on to this material and that they had held on to it regardless. Look, there is uh, only one reason I could think of for someone to hold on to top secret documents. And that's if you want to sell them. Why then would you also take so long to return documents that you knew you weren't legally supposed to have? Were you taking time to go through them to find the stuff that you wanted to keep? Maybe it's the stuff that you wanted to sell and have them make copies of it. I don't know. But that was enough. All of this stuff together was enough to get the FBI's hair on fire and to say, that's it. We got to go in. We got to get this stuff back because obviously... From what we have seen before, completely disorganized, random, anybody can walk into that storage room and come and take these documents that are classified that could put people in real danger uh, and a danger for national security. So I'm glad they went and got the documents <laughs> uh, because obviously Donald Trump either was so incredibly careless and negligent that he didn't care what happened to those documents and who saw them, or, as I mentioned before, he was trying to sell them. Now, one more thing here. Uh, let me get to Trump's response. On True Social, Trump said this, Affidavit heavily redacted, nothing mentioned on nuclear, a total public relations subterfuge by the FBI and DOJ, or our close working relationship regarding document turnover. We gave them much. Judge Bruce Reinhardt should have never allowed the break into my home. He recused himself two months ago. No, he didn't. Um, from one of my cases based on the animosity and hatred of your favorite president, me. What changed? Why hasn't he recused himself on this case? 
Obama must be very proud of him right now. <sighs> you know, it, it's funny. He's like, ah, nothing mentioned on nuclear. Hey, idiot. That would be part of the redacted, wouldn't it? I mean, you would assume so. Yes, if, if, if there was nuclear information that they had found, again, top secret of top secret, yeah, that would be redacted. Oh, my God. And, and again, uh, the stuff about uh, Reinhardt and the fact that, oh, we gave them much, but you didn't give it all. You didn't give them all. That's the whole point. You didn't give back the classified information that you stole, that you weren't supposed to have. That's the point. That's why you were raided, because you wouldn't give it back. But as usual, he's a moron. Uh, an absolute moron. An unhinged clown, but a dangerous one as well. That had, had uh, you know, possible nuclear secrets, but just had secrets of the United States that he shouldn't have had. Look, it, he's got he's to get uh, face some justice for this, okay? Like, he can't be allowed to just get away with taking the secrets from this, of this country and hiding them in his house to, to do God knows what with. I am still always concerned that, you know, there will be a way for, for Trump to evade uh, justice on this, but still, I mean... This looks really bad. I'm not going to lie. This looks probably the worst that I've ever seen. 